Hey everybody, Bill Litton here. I wanted to share uh, five things that I would not do if I was applying for a mortgage or purchasing a home. So having been in the industry for a long time, these are the things that could definitely um, hurt you uh, financially and um, make the experience worse of buying a home. So uh, number one is I would not believe Credit Karma. Credit Karma is a free website and you get what you pay for. So they don't actually pull data from the credit bureaus. If you want accurate information, uh, you could go to uh, MyFICO um, online and they will provide you with very accurate information and the right credit scores for the right, you know, there's a different score if you're buying a house versus buying a car, um, a Vantage score versus a FICO score. So you wanna make sure you're getting the accurate information. And, um, Number two, if I were buying a house and applying for a mortgage, I would not find my lender online because online lenders are going to show you teaser interest rate quotes, which will not be what you end up getting at the settlement table. So you want to work with a lender that came from maybe a trusted person in your life, someone who referred a good lender, um, probably the best place to go. Um, and what you want is a lender that is going to pretty much guarantee the terms that they give you because they did all the research and they know exactly what you qualify for. So we want to provide accurate information so you can make really good decisions on this very large purchase. So uh, number three, just as you shouldn't pick a random lender, don't work with a random realtor. So try to find a realtor that came from a trusted person, a trusted referral source, if you find a realtor online, I do know some agents that work online that are fantastic people, um, really good at what they do, but look at the reviews. And I would also, when you interview that person, ask them probing questions, have a list, ask them questions about their experience in that specific area that you're buying in. Also ask them questions to understand their level of expertise and how long they've been in the industry to make sure that you're going to get the very best service on this very huge purchase that you're making. Okay. Number four, if I were applying for a mortgage and looking to purchase a house, I would not co-sign for anybody or make any big purchases like cars or recreational vehicles, boats, RVs, not the time when you're purchasing a house because it can only stand to hurt your chances or make the terms of the mortgage worse and create problems. So I would stay away from those items. And number five, if I were applying for a mortgage or buying a house, I would definitely um, not work with a lender that would not give you their time. This is the largest purchase you're probably ever going to make in your life and the largest debt encumbrance you'll ever have. You want to work with a lender that's going to spend time with you before you're under contract so they can run numbers and make sure you're making really good decisions on payments, really good decisions on cash to close so that before you've committed to the property, you already know with full transparency how the payments and the cash to close is going to shake out. That same lender that spent time up front is going to spend time with you if there's a problem during the process. And a lot of times there are problems. These real estate transactions don't always run smooth. You want the right team to get you to the settlement table. So those are my five tips of things I would not do when um, applying for a mortgage or buying a new house. I hope this helps. Any questions, reach out to us. We are always happy to hear from you. Thank you so much. Bye. <clears throat>